Welcome to the Social Squad. Hey. Hey, Hi. let's go. I'm Jordan. I'm Sarah. And I'm Chase. Today we are talking about different carnivals or different events that's been happening in Connecticut. Now, Jordan, you've recently been to the Big E. How was it? Oh, yeah. Last week I went to the Big E. It was opening weekend. It was really fun. I went with, with a few friends. Um, we kind of went exploring, ate some good food. You know, they had like fried Oreos. Ooh, and they had a bunch nice. of shops. And they even have like a little like amusement park kind of that we went on a, a roller coaster. Uh, it was really fun. We were there for a few half hours. I'm glad I went. Uh, me and Chase uh, last weekend went to the bit to the Orange Country Fair, and that was fun. Yes, oh, nice. yes, it was. There was different reptiles. There was birds. There was a little carnival area which we really didn't get into. I know. Chase wanted to go see the turkey, one of the turkey legs. <laughs> yeah. Turkey legs were good. Oh, I bet, yeah. Uh, there was also a little craft tent where you could buy different stuff that people have made or different toys. I bought a Pokemon that is not really one a shiny. It's kind of like a manufactured misprint. Oh. Kind of. uh, anything else we did? Uh, let's see, there is, hmm, there was also the, the horror manuals and, oh yeah, that was fun. Yeah. And yeah. we got some food. But you had a little pains or two, like llamas, sheep, goats. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cows. Cows. So yeah, the horses, definitely. Yep. Uh, while we were leaving, there was a horse pulling. Oh yeah, there was also a dog show with the oh, frisbee. Oh yeah, dogs, the yeah. dog frisbee. They were oh, fun. I love dogs. I know, mm-hmm. they're so adorable and cute. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, I also, also got this chain from the B2. I'm wearing oh, right nice. now. It's really fun. Mm. Now, there uh, are certain like staples. Anytime you go to a fair or a carnival, there are certain staples that need to be there. What are the must haves for a carnival? Well, they they got to have food, obviously. Of uh, obviously. Um, I, I, I like, you know, animals being there. Mm-hmm. Like Pain mm-hmm. Zoo. Um, they should have like some like kind of like fun activities to have there. Maybe like it's, it's horseback riding, or it's like arts and crafts, like mm-hmm. you said. Maybe some some like vendors or shops. Yeah. Yeah. Buy goodies. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> mm-hmm. So what are must haves for carnivals and fairs, Chase? Well, they must have rides and entertainment. Mm-hmm. True. They gotta have some way to keep the crowd in. Uh, informed or entertained. Yeah, intrigued, yeah. yeah. Exactly. With me, must have at a car- carnival is basically rides mm-hmm. off the bat. And something to, and also little booth games. Yeah, booth games, yeah. So that mm-hmm. way, if you don't want to go on a ride, you guys got some way to enter- entertain them and also make money. Mm-hmm. That's all the bottom line is, is make money. It's true. Yeah. Keep the money flowing, you know? Exactly. <laughs> All right. So what are different uh, fair foods that are your favorite? Yeah, so at fairs, they have like a bunch of, you know, unique uh, foods that you can't really get in a lot of places. I, I love fried Oreos, personally. Oh, I, I had some so of the Big E, like had a whole bag of it. I ate all of them. It was so delicious. <laughs> with, right. with me, though, fairs and carnivals make the unique foods. Because I know uh, in Illinois, I think they have fried bacon on a stick, uh, fried pickles on a stick. Fair Foods is where you can come up with the most bizarre food combinations. They'll fry anything pretty much, I feel like. (laughs) Exactly. I think one time uh, on a Today Show, uh, Hoda and... Jenna Bush Yeager basically had watermelon with mustard on it. Which, again, for some reason yes. sounds so weird. Mm. But when you try it, it actually is delicious. Yeah. You get the tanginess from the mustard and the sweetness from the watermelon. That's what I was saying. Like They're kind of opposites <laughs> on like the, the flavor spectrum, but they kind of complement each other. Exactly. Heard. It's like everyone thinks like, you know, like pineapple sauce and pizza, on pizza, what's... Honestly, I thought too, but I actually try it. And, and I'm like, it's not half bad. It's not like something I would eat every day, exactly. but like, I'll try it once in a while. Exactly. Cause, exactly. Yeah, because it's just like the sweetness and like the tanginess of the pineapple, uh, the acidity of the pineapple, mm-hmm. and like the you know, saltiness of the pizza. 
kind of complement each other. Exactly. Salty and sweet or salty mm-hmm. and savory. Salt and it savory. all depends on the combination. Mm-hmm. I've seen some strange combinations in games. So Chase, is there any weird combination of food that you will never try in your life? Yeah, there was a bunch. Like there was uh, pancakes with ketchup and uh, I've seen some customers in the game who were uh, tomatoes with maple syrup on it and jalapenos with maple syrup. Just... Uh, from that uh, recent game. <laughs> Tomatoes and maple mm. syrup. Yeah, Interesting. It's, it's from uh, Maple Morning's uh, holiday. <laughs> ah. There are a bunch of different uh, weird combination foods that you generally don't see work. Mm-hmm. Like a sweet thing like chocolate and chili. You don't right. think it's going to work, mm-hmm. but for in, a, in the right uh, application, it tastes delicious. Mm. You get the spiciness. And you get the sweetness from the chocolate. Well, um, it depends on the chocolate. Yeah. It's, it's, I remember being a kid, I used to be really particular about food. Like, I didn't like my food touching. Mm-hmm. Like, whenever I, when I first ate burgers, uh, the first time I had burgers, was, it was just a meat patty. I wouldn't even eat, eat, eat the bun. Uh, but now I actually yeah. do eat full burgers. Um, but, like, yeah. I don't know. I've tried that. Like, maple syrup and, like, tomato, chili, and jelly, though. That doesn't, that sounds uh, not the best, but who knows? Exactly. Maybe they would like it. And there's like certain fl- foods that are like bl- canvases. Mm-hmm. Like with pizza, you can put anything on pizza. Oh, you yeah. Can, heck, you can make a dessert pizza mm, if you really yeah. wanted to. Mm. You just got to make it right. Like if you're going to do a dessert pizza, you got to make sure it's done a certain way. <laughs> so like the chocolate would be the sauce and then all the toppings yeah. wouldn't, wouldn't like melt or disintegrate, mm-hmm. but like cook. Cook, yeah, maybe uh, like yeah. nice and crisp. Exactly, or like make a cookie pizza. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I made those before. Yeah, it's like bread dough. I mean, like cookie dough is like you know the crust and everything. Mm-hmm. Hey, I remember as a kid, I used to think it was like the the coolest thing. Uh, one time, like uh, my uh, school served green eggs and hams, my Dr. Seuss book. I'm like, how do you make the eggs green? That's so interesting. It's so fascinating. They come out like a radioactive chicken or something. And, I, and, and then I learned, oh, yeah. oh, it's just food food it, dye. It's food coloring. It's food coloring. Okay, that's not yeah, as fun. But I, I thought that was so amazing. I'm like, what? Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah, I actually made that a long time ago. Oh, really? <laughs> wow. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, with uh, kids, their imagination can go <laughs> yeah. through the roof. So any TV shows that you that uh, you watch? TV shows I watch? Mm-hmm. Well, my favorite TV show probably all, all the time is probably called The Walking Dead. I mean, see, it's been out since like 2010. I don't know why, but as a kid, I've always been fascinated by zo- uh, zombies. So shows, well, movies before, because I used to watch zombie, uh, zombie movies like 28 Days Later, mm-hmm. uh, Night of the Living Dead. And I always thought, they just make a TV series about zomb- zombies. All of a sudden, I'm like, probably, I think I'm like 10 or 10 or 11 years old when, mm-hmm. when it comes out. I'm like, this is so cool, this show. And it's, as it's still on to this day, the final season is actually going to be coming airing on uh, next week. Oh, the really? final part of the final season. There's been a few spin outs where just mean they're not as good as the yeah, original. Yeah, The Walking Dead has always been a big one in the horror yeah. genre. Yeah. I did not know they were ending this season. Yeah, they actually um, were planning on continuing on for maybe like another like two two or three seasons, but the network decided to pull it. The ne- pull the plug? Yeah, I, I, I don't like what AMC is doing. They're, try- they're, they're just trying to turn the franchise to like kind of a cast code. They're trying to do all these sequels and spin offs. Uh, with like with specific characters, mm-hmm. I'm like, why, why not skip the uh, the, uh, the original show? But yeah, they're actually it's the final season and it's the final arc of the season. I think there's eight more episodes and the main show is gonna be over. Oh wow! But there's still a couple more uh, spinoff series that we continue, but they're not they're, they're not as good as the original to me. So any shows that you watch, Chase, that you want to talk about? Hmm. Well, so we just the uh, like uh, SpongeBob and I. Uh, watch past shows on YouTube or mm-hmm. some cartoon websites like Foster's and Regular Show. And regular Show's good. Regular yeah. Show's a good one. Yeah. I, I, Sometimes was my, was my first favorite show going on, first favorite cartoon. The first uh, three seasons and the first movie have been matched, in my opinion, because that... Yeah. Because Steven... I think, what's the creator's name? Steven Spiegelberg, I think. Mm-hmm. He was on the first three seasons, fun fact. And he actually wanted the first movie to be the series finale, but Nickelodeon yeah. wanted to keep the show going because it was still popular. Yeah. But So they kept going, but he left. And I know it's like slowly the qualities... The animation style changed first, and then the, I think the humor kind of changed a little yeah, bit. Yeah, the quality. Like, it was still good. Like, the, the seasons after season were still good, but it weren't 
quite the same. They weren't quite as good, and now like I think it's still on, but to me, it's just the yeah. humor has like changed so much. I, I, it's not the same anymore. I think they ended the show. It's just now they're doing reruns. Oh yeah, the Pastor Star. So which the curator did not want, by the way, who sadly passed away a few years back. Yeah, so rest I think, in peace, buddy. So, yeah, rest in peace. Uh, yeah, so I think Nick Lund's kind of like disrespecting his memories creation to get money, mm-hmm. which I, I'm not a big fan of personally. I usually watch like any of the criminal shows, the food making shows. Uh, this coming Thursday is the season premiere of Hell's Kitchen, which mm. I am very excited for. Which there, this uh, season is going to be Battle of the Ages. You're going to take twenty something year olds who are just starting out in the food industry, just starting to work in a professional kitchen, mm-hmm. and forty something year olds who are doing an either a a new food, a uh, new career in food, or a or taking a different direction in the food industry. Oh, yeah. And the difference that you can see, because Gordon Ramsay's a nice guy off camera or out of the kitchen. Yeah, it's oh. like he puts a persona on it. It's, it's raw. It's <laughs> like raw. That. He starts insulting the chefs. He <laughs> wants to get the best out of them. Yeah, he oh, wants wow. to bring the best qualities out of them so that way they can succeed in life mm-hmm. and watching their like audition dishes some of them are good some of them are just bizarre yeah like one season somebody made uh, food with ginger snap cookies I'm like seriously why why are you taking this opportunity to make <laughs> something weird <laughs> another one where somebody made a pigeon or dove I think it is bolognese Mm-hmm. They took a dove breast or something and cooked it. I'm like, you take Gordon, you seriously go on Hell's Kitchen, cook something, and present it to Gold, Gordon Ramsay you have never done before. Oh no, <laughs> just to what you know at that point. Mm-hmm. And in the past, though, him and vegans aren't really yeah. that great. Now, as he's getting old older and the culture started changing he's now more accepting to yeah. the vegan culture because mm-hmm. I know for Master Chef which is another thing he does he's done a all vegan challenge where you couldn't use any meat any poultry no eggs no dairy no d- eggs no dairy and I'm explaining this to my brother like the difference between vegetarian and uh, vegan I'm like yeah. vegan you can't have any animal products whatsoever yeah. You can mm. with vegetarian you can still have eggs, cheese, milk, ice cream. You just can't have meat. Mm. Yeah. Oh yeah, I get those uh, confused a little. Mm. Also with kosher. Because kosher has their own set of rules. Mm. I've heard that word for kosher. Mm-hmm. You can't mix dairy and meat together is I think one of the big ones and you have to keep them separate. Like with fish and cheese, you can have those together. Mm-hmm. Uh, chicken and cheese, you can have them together. Pork, I'm not 100% sure about that one. Mm. But beef and dairy, you cannot have together. You have to wait, I think, six hours in between in order mm-hmm. to have... Like if you have a steak dinner and you want to have a piece of chocolate cake, mm. you have to wait six hours in order for the meat to go through your digestive system and out of your si- and out of your system oh. before you can have a piece of chocolate cake. Mm-hmm. Mm, interesting. So, I know there's other Gordon Ramsay ventures. So Chase, what's your favorite Gordon Ramsay uh, show? Well, I do like Master Chef Junior with uh, seasons with the children Aww. competing, and I've been watching it since 2015. Oh wow! Oh, nice, yeah. Oh, I, I, so, oh, so yeah, yeah. I know, like. Um, uh, people see the house kids and, and think, oh, Gordon Ramsay. Oh, he's he's a he's a mean guy. He's a nasty guy. You know, he's a great chef. But you know, he's actually re- that's his, like, his persona. Mm-hmm. But he's oh. actually really good with kids. And my mom, my mom watches that show too. The kids. I know. I've seen yeah, a couple. He is. I've seen a couple episodes of him with the juniors. He actually teaches them instead of yelling at them when they make a mistake. It's like, okay, yeah, you did something wrong. Let's fix it and change it. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, he does. <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah. So I have a question for you guys. Um, if you're going to choose to watch uh, one fresh your life, would you rather watch uh, TV shows or movies? Hmm. Like, like, which thing uh, you 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 would uh, keep? 
So Chase, which one would you keep? Movies or TV shows? Oh, that's tough. Um, I guess TV shows. I would do TV shows as well because there's more <laughs> diversity. I, I didn't say, yeah, there's more diversity. I think also there's also a large chance of a story instead of having a two-hour movie. You have like six hours, you know, like four, third, half an hour episodes uh-huh. too. Mm-hmm. And uh, speaking of movies, what recent movies have you guys seen uh, uh, recently? Any good ones? Uh, not recently, although I did see th- uh, the new Thor movie. So that was, I think, the most recent one I've seen. Yeah, we did see Buzz Lightyear. Oh, how'd you like it, Chase? It was nice, actually. It totally had a few uh, differences from Toy Story. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I've seen the Toy Story movies. I haven't seen the Buzz Light movie, but it looks interesting. I did see the, the, the new Thor movie. Um, I, I think I, I liked it, too. Uh, I think Ragnarok's still my favorite Thor mo- movie, uh, but I liked it better than the, I think the fir- first two Thor movies, though. I yeah. thought it was good. Yeah, I, I, I've been noticed, like, I think I'm, there's only, I might watch some, I haven't been as big, I'll be honest, I'm not as big a fan of Phase 4 of Marvel that I had been, because it's just weird without, you know, Iron Man, like Captain America, and we're getting mm-hmm. all these new people, and I'm just, like, I'm not attached to them yet, yeah. but maybe I'll get there. You, it's, you yeah. gotta grow on them. Yeah, grow on them. certain movies, like, when you first see it, it's like, okay, it's something new, I'm not really that attached to them, it, there's not, nothing that will draw me to love them. Yeah. I know with movies that are coming up, Avatar 2 is coming up. Don't know when that's going to premiere in theaters. Yeah. Uh, recently, in, yeah, uh, two days ago, they put in theaters the original Avatar. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So now they're doing part two, which is more deserved. I'm, yeah, I know the original Avatar was like the highest grossing movie for like a long time because it's like, it kind of like revolutionized like the CGI like in, mm-hmm. in industry, like CGI in the movie industry. Uh, so it's good to see it's finally, it's finally getting its uh, deserved sequel. I was wondering, like, this movie <coughs> ended so well. Why, why, why does it not have a sequel? It, t- it took like 12 years. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah. So Chase, any up and coming movies that you would like to see? Yeah, there is uh, Puss in Boots. Yeah. Uh, Puss in with, Boots? With the Nine Lives. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know he was uh, there again uh, another movie. Is it, is it the Catherine Strugger or is it something else? I think the, j- the basis of the movie is Puss and Boots is on his last life because yeah. cats have nine lives. He's on his last life. Oh. So he's trying to either right wrongs or go on to this big uh, welcome edge. So is this like a sequel to the first Puss and Boots movie, you know, like Humpty Dumpty, or is this kind of like a reboot that they're doing? I think it's a reboot. Okay, reboot. I'm not 100% mm. sure. Do not quote me on that. Okay, I mean, yeah, honestly, I have, this is the first time I'm hearing, hearing mm-hmm. this movie. I didn't know he was, uh, was going to another movie. Could, One of the movies. Could be a sequel. Oh, it's a sequel? Maybe. Maybe. I have to look it up now. Uh, I know. I know uh, the mo- an upcoming movie that I really want to watch is The Woman King. The Woman King. Mm-hmm. It's basically a warrior who then becomes king, but they haven't had a female king and they don't want to name it like Queen. So, with Ava. So. Back to Avatar. I know they're adding, I think, five more or four more sequels after the second oh one. Oh, my goodness. That's going to... Yeah, they're going to expand that's the That's going to go into, into like the next decade, like tw- Pretty the 2030s. Much. Uh, <laughs> they're also doing the same thing with Marvel. Yeah. There are different... I think right now we're at the end of phase Mar- four. Phase four. There's also phase five and six. Yeah, I think oh. I think the the new Black Panther movie is gonna end phase four and then mm-hmm. they're going to the next phase. Yep. Which I'm, I'm still uh, I think I might see it though. It's just gonna be weird. Uh, I seen it about you know with Chad. Um, um, I'm blanking his last name. No, <laughs> Bose, Bozeman. Uh, Bozeman. 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 Like no. It's gonna be interesting not having the actual Chadwick right. Bozeman in that Bozeman, movie. Yeah. Speaking of uh, movies, uh, national holidays coming coming up. Halloween. Oh yeah. Ooh, Halloween <laughs> scary movies time. Oh, yeah. that's gonna be fun. So, what's your favorite Halloween tradition? Uh, I honestly, I, I I used to just dress up. I don't get any trick or treaters near, near, near my street. Mm-hmm. Ever, ever since I, I moved there, I get maybe less than ten now. Kids. Yeah. But I like watching movies. Uh, usually, I think every, every like, week we try to watch like, a movie marathon. Like sometimes we watch Friday the Thirteenth or something Ooh. like that. You know, Halloween mm-hmm. with Michael Myers. Mm-hmm. I, I like the slasher mo- movies. Uh the horror. <laughs> yeah, horror movie. Yeah. So Chase, what's your favorite Halloween tradition? I guess just uh, making the 
listening to music about uh, Halloween and watching movies and making art based on it. Oh, that's nice. Mm-hmm. My fa- my favorite Halloween movie as a kid, um, Nightmare Before oh. Christmas. Oh, that's Jack a Skellington. good one. <laughs> now, classic. A lot of people have posted what they're gonna be for Halloween. So I know with me, I just basically pick any kind of costume. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I know Chase, you dressed up as Dracula one year. Yes, I do. Mm-hmm. I did a bunch of times actually. Oh, really? Is that your favorite character to dress up on Halloween? Yes. Mm-hmm. I know there's been some uh, movies about Dracula. Oh, yeah. Do you ever watch them? Um, let's see. I think I've seen some Dracula, Dracula references in some movies I've seen. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. That is very interesting. Now, with me, with the Halloween traditions, I like the candy because you get free ca- oh, candy. Yeah. Mm. And I know s- certain grocery stores do this. The day after Halloween, November 1st, all the Halloween candy goes on sale, goes on sale which so is cheap. the best time to get your yeah. Halloween candy if you don't want to share it. Oh, yeah. Or like the day of Halloween, last minute can- just grab a bunch of last minute candy, hand them out to the, ki- to <laughs> the little ones who are trick-or-treating, mm. and then save the rest in your little candy dungeon. Yeah. What are you guys' like a favorite Halloween candy? Candy person, I'm like I'm like a child guy. I like M and M's, like Hershey's, like Kit Kat bars. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I do the gummies or like the lollipops. Mm-hmm. Favorite lollipop brand is Dum Dums. Yeah, Dum Dums are really good. Yeah, mm-hmm. like uh, I like the Hershey's pops. Right, there's like chocolate in the center. You get mm-hmm. them, oh, that's really good. I, lo- I love that. I don't or think gum. I... Oh yeah, Those gum lollipops. is a normal thing. Yeah. So, Chase, Chase. Fa- favorite candy? I say chocolate. Mm. Mm. I like the Reese's peanut butter cups. Yeah, I used to hate the Reese's peanut butter cups for some reason, but like, but I like chocolate and peanut. Butter. I think it was like the texture of it, but I, it's grown on me. But I always like the the tiny Reese's pieces, like can, mm-hmm. candy. They're like M. They kind of actually like, like M and M's or Skittles. Yeah, a full peanut butter instead of chocolate. With the M and M brand, though, they've expanded. They either added a caramel center or a peanut center. I'm addicted to the ones with the cookie center. Mm-hmm. Oh. Those are very addic- uh, addicting and very good, yeah. by the way. They've had pretzels, too, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah they've had the pretzel one. Yeah. I wonder what M&M's going to come up with next. Yeah. Hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm actually allergic to peanuts, so I can't have too much candy. Ah, yeah. that's... I'm, uh, yeah, that I'm allergic suck. to uh, tree nuts, so I can't have a lot of candy. I can eat peanuts, though, because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. peanuts are legumes or beans, and nuts yeah. are fruit. I always had to explain the difference. And people like, oh, you mean you can have peanuts, but you can't have tree nuts? I'm like... I don't know, man. <laughs> what do you want me to say? So, like, macadamia nuts. Yeah, pistachios can't have. Almonds. Walnuts. No. no. Anything, uh, any kind of nut that comes from a tree, kind of. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Like pine nuts or another one. I don't think I have pine nuts, no. So, I, I mean, the only thing I have with the word nut that I'm wor- that I'm wearing are peanuts. Mm-hmm. I just don't uh, really risk anything. You know? Yeah. Anything. But I love peanut nuts, though. I know, they're good. They're really good, yeah. Even though they say they may contain tree nuts, they just do that. I think it's a precautionary. So they don't, they, they don't mm-hmm. get sued, I guess. But I, they want to cover for me. their behind. Yeah, yeah. Just by the off chance, I'm like super sensitive. Like mm-hmm. I don't think I'm super sensitive. Like I, like I can be around pe- uh, people that eat tree nuts. I just can't in, uh, ingest it myself. Yeah. Speaking of oh. allergic, I did not know this, but people can be allergic to water. Oh my. <laughs> How the you, heck do you live then? <laughs> you kind of need you water can, to survive. It depends on how bad the uh, allergic reaction yeah. is. Yeah. Because if the person can still drink water, but it can't touch them. Interesting. Oh. Well, let's say your body is like, like 60 or 70% water mm-hmm. too. <laughs> is it well, funny? Yeah. So it depends on how severe the reaction is. Yeah. Mm, yeah. I know like... Uh, hmm. So, yeah, do you have any uh, allergies? I do no, not. I only have no. the seasonal allergies with the pollen and the stuffy noses in the winter. Uh, yeah. Yeah, me, yeah, me too. Yeah, those do. Winter's coming. Yes. <laughs> Speaking of winter, uh, winter coming, cold and flu season is coming as well. Good. I got my flu shot, actually, this past Friday. Oh, nice. Because I work at CVS mm-hmm. and Ph- yeah. Pharmacy. So I took the opportunity. So, hey, look at that. Mm-hmm. Free shot. <laughs> yeah. Each year, for some reason, they've uh, it's always uh, mutated. 
if if coming out with a better version of it. Same with COVID nineteen. There's always a new variant. I know. Yeah. Like um. Mm. Yeah. I got I got a new shot and then it's been crazy. <laughs> at my at my, at my, at my job. <laughs> so how you guys like handling negativity in the world? Okay. Mm. I just brush it off. Brush it off. <laughs> because again, it doesn't. It's not going to affect me personally. Yeah. But I do feel bad for anyone who's going through that negativity. Yeah, like same, in yeah. Ukraine with Russia, I support the Ukraine mm-hmm. because they're the ones who are the bystanders of this, the Ukrainian people. Yeah. They're getting fled from their homes. They're running for their lives. Yeah. Right. Same with any refugee that comes into this country. They're yeah. running for their lives. Yes. Yeah. yeah, like, so like, uh, yeah, the... They were saying like the war in U- Ukraine, the mm-hmm. Russia invade uh, Ukraine to try to seize territory, and that led to a lot of Ukrainians having to flee from their homes and immigrate somewhere else. Mm-hmm. And like, some people have like you know have like this like a negative view of uh, immigrants. Oh, like you know they have to come here legally, but they're just trying to seek refuge from their home. Like they didn't want to leave, exactly. you know, all they their, like, their family, mm-hmm. their homes behind. They didn't want to leave the life, the life they built yeah. behind. And and they're going somewhere you know like, uh, to a different country where like they don't speak Ukraine, so now they gotta learn like a whole new like um. Uh, language and kind of like a, a t- try to like, you know a, a simile. I don't know if that's a, the best word for it. Mm-hmm. Into like a different culture, yeah. so it's hard. But yeah, I like um, it's hard because I know that the news they like to um, they talk a lot about negative things. They don't try to focus on the positive because exactly. you know because like to, people want to be negative. Like they want mm-hmm. that gets more views and attention. Mm-hmm. Uh, so like I try you know taking stride. I try to be positive, not like not like let it control my life or anything. Exactly. Yeah. So Chase, how do you traits? deal with all the negativity in the world? I just uh, don't do much. I just uh, I guess I just uh, think of other things. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Keep your mind off of it. Yeah. yeah, I try to stay off like social media for a while. Like if it's just being negative. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thank you for joining the social. S- Social Squad, you can find more Social Squad and Social Chase videos on our YouTube page. Subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> Subscribe. Hit that like button. Hit the like hit the like button and hit the share button. Again, my name is Sarah. I'm Jordan. And I'm Chase. And we'll see you all later. Peace. Oh, let's go.